Robbie Cutthroat. You sure have a lot to say, don't you, son? Come out here running your mouth, spewing absolute garbage every time you speak, calling yourself a demigod. The icon of professional wrestling, saying that ATM are the greatest faction, the greatest group in the whole entire world, is nothing more than absolute bullshit. Sure, ATM might have gone out there and won 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 world tag team titles. But that's because you're in shit companies facing crap, loser, jobber talent. And for a group that's been around for two and a half odd years, no wonder you've won so many fucking titles. Because you guys just won't fuck off. You see, you've built up this fucking bubble around yourself. This fantasy world inside your mind that you believe your own fucking hype. You believe that all the bullshit that comes out of your mouth. You're nothing more than a piece of shit. And I've got to ask you, Robbie, how are you holding up after being destroyed by Klein last week? Hmm? How's that ankle of yours going? How are the tendons in your ankle? Huh? <laughs> How's that body holding up of yours? after being tasered by Klein's fucking little man, huh? That mystery man in the right gear. How are you? Are you medically cleared to face the black and blue crew this week? Because I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're up for it. I think you're still sore, you're still aching, but you're hiding behind those sunglasses. You're hiding all the pain you feel from being destroyed by a client. You can't even be Klein. I'd be Klein in my first week back here in this company after my hiatus. You know, Robbie, I thought I hated Klein the most out of any man in the whole entire world. But you are slowly gaining momentum. I think I hate you just as much as I do fucking Justin Klein. And I really wish, Robbie Cutthroat, I really wish that your mama would have used one of these when she found out she was pregnant with your fucking sorry ass. I really wish she dug this inside her black abyss that she calls her birth canal and ripped you out instead of fucking torturing the world with your presence. And I really hope when your daddy stuck his pin dick inside your mum's black abyss, that he used a whole fucking bunch of these. Not just one, but lots and lots of them, Robbie, to protect himself from fucking ever having to be your father. And I hope after he stuck his dick inside your mum, that he fucking used this stuff and washed his fucking junking bleach. Even though he wore a condom, he washed his junking bleach so he didn't catch fucking AIDS from your fucking mother. I really wish that you'd never been born at all. That she aborted you any way possible. But here you are. Here you are having to face the black and blue crew. And you don't like it when anyone talks about Ricky Sabbath, your little bitch boy, Ricky Sabbath, the wannabe outlaw with the boniest arms in the whole of professional wrestling. They could snap off and go straight up his ass. Mr. Burns' arms. Bony girl arms is all he fucking has. He hasn't got fucking muscles like my Rocky T and Adam fucking Cage. He isn't built like the black and blue crew and we're going to snap him in half and shove him straight up your ass, Robbie Cutthroat, because he's a fucking jobber. That's all he is. Sure, he might have lifted his game just that little bit. He comes out here and fucking says the same shit over and over and over and over. He should be down there in Delta. At least he'd fucking have a chance of maybe being a world champion for once in his life. Instead of hiding behind you, riding your coattails for the last two and a half fucking years, Robbie. That's all he's been doing. Him and Jason Terry are nothing without you standing in front of him, protecting them. Because we know they'd be fucking nowhere without Robbie. Because that's all you do. You go around and you collect pieces of shit who are beneath you to make you seem better. You know why good looking girls have fat, ugly girls in their fucking group? In their group of friends to make themselves look better. And that's what you've done. You've taken guys beneath you, pieces of shit, to hang around with you to make you look better. 
because you're a fucking turd, aren't you, Robbie? You can dress up a fucking turd, but it's always gonna be a fucking turd, Robbie. <laughs> you think you're a tough guy? Hmm? Rick Stabber thinks he's an outlaw. Jason Terry thinks he's a masterpiece. And that weakest link, James Parks, thinks he's a badass. He hasn't seen nothing yet. None of you in ATM have seen anything yet. The black and blue crew are coming. The black and blue crew are coming for the ATM. The fucking human centipede of the IW. And we're going to knock you the fuck out, Robbie Cutthroat. I'm going to knock your teeth so far down your throat you won't know what fucking coming, son. You get ready, because the black and blue crew aren't here to take part. We're here to take over!